Welcome back to another Tabletop Ready Miniatures video. Um, I know it's been a kind of a while since we posted anything. Uh, I was uh, busy finishing a, a room in my downstairs basement uh, for family, obviously family purposes. Uh, so anyway, that project took way too long, but it's done. So we're getting back into the swing of things. We should be posting some more videos. Um, and I thought I'd do one... Um, right around the Christmas holidays, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure most of you should have your Christmas shopping already done. But uh, what I wanted to go over was the new um, Battle Force uh, boxes for both Age of Sigmar as well as Warhammer 40K. Uh, when I was first looking at those, I, th I thought, oh, look, they, you know what I'm saying, it, you get, you know what I'm saying, basically what comes in a normal, typical box plus some more but that's actually not the case um, so the battle force boxes uh, you get a good deal depending on what you're what you're looking for so first off we're gonna go ahead and start with the age of Sigmar now to preface this again um, I'm using US dollars American dollars and I'm not talking about points how many points you can get or build from that army if you're looking to do match play I'm simply stating the value you get for the boxes so the there was four different battle force boxes uh, that are available for purchase um, they are uh, Arcanites change cults basically Zeech uh, Blade of the Blood Queen that's uh, death Vanguard Brotherhood that's uh, you know what I'm saying you're uh, Oh my goodness, I can't even remember what they're called. Stormcast Eternals. And then you have the Caradran Overlords, the Skyfleet. So, the Zeech army um, is the least, uh, provides the least amount of value. Uh, you get 65, you're saving 65 US dollars. Um, and the main reason is it's, it's, it's um, pretty standard, the boxes that they give you. Now, I will point out um, that, yes, yeah, so you get a shaman, you get two different, you know, two boxes of the sky fires. It could be sky fires or the, the other ones. I don't know, but I'm, everyone uses sky fires. Um, and then you have, uh, you, know, a box, you know, a box of 20 acolytes. And then you get two 10-man, because they give you 20, so two 10-man boxes of Zangors at 40 bucks a pop, which is 80 bucks. So you save $65. Now, the beauty of this box, to me personally, is you're not dealing with de you're not dealing with demons, right? So with the battle, you know, the start collecting box and other boxes like that, it's you know you got oh, your, your flamers of Zeech and your chariots and all of that crap, um, which you know some people like, some people want. But for me, I want to collect these other things. And so this battle force, to me, provides more value. I mean, it, monetarily, doesn't it provides the least amount of value. But you get such a wide range. Excuse me. But you get models that you, you know, for me personally, that you want to build your army around. So that's me. Uh, I think it's a great bo battle force box, though you only you're only saving 65 bucks. The undead battle uh, box is an interesting box because, on the one hand, you get like a mortark and some skeletons, which is in the start collecting box. On the other hand, but you don't get any um, of the 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 knights, the the horses, the hex wraiths, or the black knights. Um, which comes in the battle force box and then on the other hand you can get like a, a semi start collecting box with like a wit king and grave guard and things like that so like this is a mishmash of both so it's that's kind of cool you get 76 dollars us dollars and savings it's the second best box say uh monetarily wise the best deal the second best deal um but it does take 
models from a bunch of different factions within the death uh you know army army or what is it called order of death um which again for me is is one of the complaints i have uh with age of sigmar so you have your mortark and your morgas which are the i don't remember the lords of death or whatever and then you have the wit king and the grave guard which is in one and then you know what i'm saying if you want like hex wraiths and spirit hosts that's in another so these are different factions and so if you're wanting to play match play uh i think that hampers you personally i think that hampers you buying this battle force if you don't care about match play then obviously it's it's the second best deal then you have the obviously what's the best deal stormcast eternals and of course that makes sense um though there is a caveat so you get you save $85 US. So retail, if you bought all of these retail, you'd spend approximately $255. And you're only spending 170. And that's without any extra, you know, 10, 15, 20% off whatever you get if you buy online or from a local game store that gives discounts. So it's the best bargain for your dollars, for your bucks. But it's it's like a theme force um which is weird you get 12 griff hounds and i don't play stormcast eternals so i don't know but it seems to me like that's weird i've never seen an army with that many griff hounds um you know you have your raptors your palador or excuse me your hunters your palador's your uh, aquilar lord um and then your Griff Hounds. So it's, like I said, the models chosen for the Battle Force are interesting. I get it's a theme kind of force, like going out and you get quick. And But uh, to build an army around, it doesn't. It seems like there's a lot of wasted models in that for me. Or at least the, gri the Griff Hounds. It just seems like, why would you want 12 of them? So that's me. I don't know. Maybe there's lists that use Griff Hounds like that. Like I said, I don't play Stormcast Eternal. Then you have the Caradran Overlords. Uh, they're the third place with regards to value. You save seventy dollars, um, and it, there's no uh, frills about this. This this is a cool box because you just you get a, a, it, this is like the perfect battle force to start an army around. Perfect. You, n nothing you get in this battle force you wouldn't use in an army. So, I mean, maybe you might want to not take the gun hauler. You might want to upgrade to something else. But, like, on the whole, the best by far, start. let's start an army by a battle force. You get Sky Wardens, Arcanaut Company, a gun hauler, a frigate, and an admiral. So it's like, boom. Just right off the bat, rip it all out, assemble it, paint it, and you got a, an amazing start to your Caradran Overlord army. So those are the Age of Sigmars. Again, Stormcast Eternal is the best value. Uh, this each option is the least value monetarily. But I, like I said, I think of the two, uh, t the the best. If you're choosing like based on models to start an army around, I think the Caradran Overlords and Zeech are the best. If you want a, an army that can be, I don't know, battle forged. We call it battle forged in 40k. I don't know what they call it in Age of Sigmar. Um, if you want it all to be within one faction to get faction bonuses, models that are going to fit and that you're going to use in every army, the list you build, or most every army you list you're going to build, Caradran Overlords and Zeech. Uh, the second are, um, the second portion is a, uh, Warhammer 40k. You get the Gene Stealer Colts, you get Orcs, Tau, and Astro Militarum. So, um, we'll go ahead with the Gene Stealer Cult. That one is the, it's, I mean, Gene Stealer Cult and Astro Militarum is pretty close value-wise. It's like within a dollar. So they both get you roughly about $75. Gene Stealer Cult, you save $75. You get a Rock Grinder, a Brood Coven, which includes several different pieces. Acolyte Hybrids, Neophyte Hybrids, and Guardsmen. And these are Guardsmen Hybrids, not just in, 
uh, Cadian Imperial Guard, or excuse me, Cadian Astra Militarium. So it's a great set, fits right into you know a start collecting Gene Stealer Colt. It's kind of like I said, the Zeech and the Character and Overlords. All of the choices you get are solid, will fit into your army, and, and it's nice. Um, orcs, really, most of these, I mean, actually, I guess that's kind of, for me personally, that's what all of the, uh, the excuse me, the Warhammer 40k uh, armies have over the Age of Sigmar, is they're not, it's not like they're specific. For example, even the orcs, you know what I'm saying, they have, it's supposedly like an, um, a speedy army you have uh bike you know bike boys you have a transport you know the truck and you have a battle wagon with some orc boys looters and a big mech um which kind of don't necessarily go together some of that stuff but they're all good choices you're you're gonna want them all i mean other than the truck which i don't know of how many people you are using trucks uh mainly because orcs are like a mob army nowadays but you'll use the battle wagon you'll use the looters you'll use the orc boys everyone that i know of that plays well not everyone i guess but a lot of armies and lists bring bikes if at least one big blob of bikes um so it's like i said it's great value it's you get the least amount of value for orcs you only say you're only saving 65 dollars um so that as to the tau you get the best value for Tau, and that's because this is a, a, a Tau battle suit army. And battle suit as in they're all suits. You get a ghost kill. You get stealth suits, which aren't really suits, you know what I'm saying, per se. But uh, but they are, you know what I'm saying, they're not just fire warriors. Then you have a crisis team of, you know, three suits. And then you have a commander. Um... The, like I said, that has the best value. You save $84. You get a like a crap ton of, <clears throat> excuse me, of um, drones. Uh, it's And it's a really good army. I mean, granted, you don't have Fire Warriors. You don't have, uh, you know, some of the other infantry heavy. But it, it is a great place to start because you get a lot of suits. And the vast majority of Tau armies, it's suits, 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 and more suits. So uh, I think that's a great value. Again, all the items other than maybe the stealth suits, you're going to use in an arm, a Tau army. There's like no bad choices there. So on to Astra Militarum. This is, um, I mean, it's fine. I would say of all the choices, this one has the least amount of solid selections you do get the same amount of value you get to get seventy dollars almost excuse me seventy six almost seventy seven dollars uh, of value saved but you get uh, you know two squads of guardsmen a, a command squad but then you get ogrins which most people are going to use you're going to get a walker which I'm I think most people use chimera not a lot of people use and layman rust and I guess that's not true I mean theoretically you could take all of these in an army in, you know in an army list but it seemed you know especially with guardsmen the the saying one is none two is one kind of a thing uh you get two squads of guardsmen but that's the only thing right and so if you're doing like a transport army you're gonna need more and i guess that's the same with all of them you can't really make that comparison but it just seems like the pieces don't mesh together in what you know an army that the guardsmen would or astro militar would make so for me personally though it has a good value i think it's probably the weakest choice wise of models that are in the battle force so anyway so that's the the different ones you get um i hope this helps you guys with your christmas shopping if you haven't already done it these might inspire you know what i'm saying this might help you decide if you want to pick up one of those battle forces there is plenty of value to be had um and like i said it's nice to see games workshop giving you um discounts you know say they're not really discounts but they're you know what i'm saying they're they're giving you these these options to purchase bundles bundled options 
uh, that uh, where you, you have some kind of savings it's been really great with the start collecting boxes and now these battle force boxes which are I think gonna be seasonal uh, it's nice to see that that you get that added value so uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think uh, let me know if I missed anything don't forget tabletop ready miniatures is a painting and assembly service if you guys are interested uh, feel free to visit our website at tabletopreadymentors.com or you know contact us our links are in the descriptions down below don't forget to like and subscribe um, and if you haven't heard there is a special going on uh, we should have a link to a video uh, of what how the special is going the special will go from the rest of December and on into the end of till the end of January so uh, go ahead and check that out um, Again, thanks for watching. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.